and welcome back to the Online Academy of Irish Music. Um, this is the second lesson in the Whistle Basics course and we're going to be doing our very first polka called the Rattling Bog. It's a well-known polka because it's used often to accompany an uh, Irish dance called the Siege Venice. I'm going to play it for you first just so you can hear it played how it naturally would be played and don't worry I'm going to be teaching it to you a lot slower and a lot simpler but just so you can get it in your head okay Now we're using the exact same notes as we did in the scale we learnt in the, in the previous lesson. Remember we did the scale of D. So all the notes that we're actually using we covered in yesterday's class. This tune actually isn't in the, the key of D, but don't worry about this if you don't understand. It's actually in the key of G. Um, let's get started. I'm going to do it phrase by phrase, slowly. And after we finish the tune, I've got an exercise for you to do um, an exercise around the scale of D, just so we can get our fingers um, more active on the, on the whistle. Okay. So, B, B, A, G, E. easy, it's exactly the same as the first phrase we did. And the final phrase. So, D, 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 B, A, G, G, with me. One, two. the first part together. Okay, just um, notice how I'm keeping it quite smooth. I'm not articulating between every note. A lot of people, um, they start, they're playing, they're so, so tense because it's so new and it's a big effort. And what they actually do is play like um, <laughs> Do you hear what I'm doing in my throat? Is it constricting? 
it's a, it's a technique that some people can use to their advantage, but for now, if you're at the beginning, let's just keep it smoothly. And if you need to articulate between two notes which are the same, so like two Bs or two E's, use your tongue gently. So. Hear how my airflow is just constant and it's not choppy and I'm not breathing between every note. Of course you have to breathe and we'll be covering um, good breathing and phrasing in, in later lessons but for now we're just getting to grips with the basics so you're doing really well. In the next part of the lesson we're going to play, learn the second part of the rattle and bog. Okay let's learn the second part of rattling in the bog. Now if it's helpful to you, you can get the sheet music and you can download the PDF sheet music for free on the OAIM website. Um, so, but otherwise, see if you can use your ear, watch my fingers and um, practice picking up the tunes by ear, phrase by phrase. So, I'm going to play you the second part. Okay, the first part. With me, starting on the high B. One, two. Again, one, two. Next phrase. B, D, D, B, A, G, A. One, two. these two phrases together. So listen first and join me. is exactly the same as the first bit. And the last phrase. second part together. One, two.
done. So the way the tune works is you play, play the first part through twice and then you go straight into the second part and you play the second part twice. So let's do that now. Starting with the first part, after two. One, two. Well done. Okay, let's review the D major scale that we did in the first class. Okay, just play it with me. One, two. going to just do a little exercise just to get the finger working in patterns on on the whistle so if you listen to this Okay, so we're basically going up by intervals, um, going up to D, skipping a note to F, D, F, E, G, F, A, G, B, A, C, B, D, C, E, D, D, B, C, A, B, G, a, F, G, E, F, D, E, F, D. Sorry, it's a bit low for me to sing. <laughs> um, let's do it together after two. One, two.
Great. Now the great thing about learning um, via the internet and a video player is you can rewind it as many times as you need and as many times as you like. So keep rewinding, keep playing back along with me until you've nailed that exercise. Okay, that's all for today and we will see you in um, the next lesson.